I'd like to get your attention at this time, call to order City of Douglasville City Council Legislative Work Session of Thursday, October the 15th, 2015. If you'll note on your agenda and also for our viewing audience, you have listed the invocation as well as the pledge, and we are not going to do those at this time because we just had a special call meeting at which time we did the pledge and the invocation, and so we will not do that as shown on the agenda as we have already done it about 15 minutes ago. So with that being said, let me go through the protocol for tonight's legislative work session. Again, I'd like to welcome you to the City of Douglasville Legislative Work Session. This is a work session where agenda items are presented for discussion and no official action will be taken tonight. Official action will be taken on items discussed tonight on Monday, October the 19th, 2015 at 6 p.m. The business you're here to discuss not listed as an agenda item. There will be ample time under the agenda item comments from Citizens Delegate Section to discuss your business. There are a few protocol items I need to make you aware of before we start this meeting. I ask that you listen closely so there's no misunderstanding about how tonight's meeting will be conducted. I ask that you keep your comments and your presentation on a professional level, dealing with the facts that are important for this governing body to make their decision. We will not accept comments that are considered by the chair to be a personal attack on any individual or group of individuals. You will receive a warning from the chair if you deviate from this requirement. A second deviation will result in request for you to leave the chambers and the premises for the evening. Only one person will be talking at a time. Please do not applaud or react to speakers. Speak from the audience chair. Carry on a conversation with others in the audience or disrupt the order of this meeting in any way. I will remind you that we're only required to accept public comment on zoning matters. We are not required to accept public comment on other items before this council. We accept public comment on all items because we believe it enables us to make better decisions. But we will maintain order. As the chair of this meeting, at any time during the meeting, I am prepared to stop public comment on any agenda item if I believe the general good of the meeting will not benefit from actions being taken by a member or members of the audience. If you have a pager, cell phone, or other electronic device, I ask that you turn them off or either put them in the silent mode at this time. Agenda items will be handled as follows. The committee chairperson will read the agenda item. Then the person representing the agenda item or the applicant will make his or her presentation first. And that will be the only opportunity to present information. Then the mayor and members of council will possibly ask questions of the applicant or seek additional information. After that, the committee chair will ask for comments or statements from the audience. There's a maximum time limit of 30 minutes for those who speak in favor of the agenda item. The applicant's presentation is included in this time allotment. Those who speak in opposition to the item will have 30 minutes. Each speaker will be limited to five minutes. I ask you to fill out one of the sheets that are at the door that you came through entering the chamber, then provide the sheet to the Madam Clerk to my right when you approach to speak. When you come to the podium, please provide your information form to the Madam Clerk. Tell her if you are speaking in favor of or against the project. Then please state your name and address for the audio portion of the record, then proceed with your comments. Each person has one opportunity to com comment on each agenda item. No reappearance if you think of something later you forgot or did not say initially. This meeting is not a question and answer format. This meeting is not a debate format, but a format that gives you an opportunity to make a public comment on the respective agenda item. Please address your comments to the chair, not the members of the audience or the applicant or the city staff. If your information is repetitive of information presented earlier in this meeting or any other meetings on this matter, there's no need to present the same information again. If your information is repetitive, I will remind you, then request that you move on to any new information you're prepared to present. Our policy requires that printed information used for review be submitted in advance and included in each council member's work packet. Therefore, I ask you to not pass out or distribute additional information to the council. This also includes a citizen comment period. 
Are there any questions about the protocols or anyone does not understand the protocol for tonight's meeting? Next item on the agenda is the Public Safety Committee. And in the absence of the ch chair of that committee, Councilman Davis, I'll ask the vice chairman of that committee, Councilman Adams, do you have any business to bring forward at this time, sir? No, sir, no business tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Very good. Thank you, Councilman Adams. Next item on the agenda is Community and Economic Development Committee, and I'll ask the chair of that committee, Councilman Adams, you bring your committee forward at this time, please, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We have two items tonight under Community and Economic Development. Uh, the first one is adopt a resolution approving a time-limited performance-based ad valorem property tax incentive, including, among other things, the issuance of the authority's tax revenue bonds, Douglas Acquisition LLC project, series 2014, for the benefit of Douglas Acquisition LLC, an affiliate of Medline Industries Incorporated. Um, I'm in, here in the capacity uh, representing the City of Douglasville Development Authority. Um, I will have Andrew Shutt with Arnold, Golden, and Gregory, uh, the Development Authority's attorney, come and explain to you the uh, tax agreement, or I should say the uh, tax incentive project that we're presenting before for your approval. Um, this is something that you've uh, seen before and we've done before, but he's going to come up and give you some more detail. Thank you. Good evening, Andrew Shutt, uh, Arnold Golden and Gregory, my address 171 17th Street Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia. As Marcia said, I'm the attorney for the Development Authority of the City of Douglasville. Um, this is a very good project for the city. Um, Medline Industries, a company that has already brought a number of jobs to our community, is expanding again. <coughs> and they are investing an additional $25 million in the city and also bringing 138 new jobs to the city at an average wage of $18.75. Where we're at in the process right now, the city, as all of you know, has a tax plan designed specifically to incentivize new jobs and companies to come to the city and the development authority has met and adopted an inducement resolution recommending that um, the council and the mayor adopt um, the resolution before you and the tax plan. The return on investment for the city in exchange for the tax incentives are being offered is 1,122% and that's comparing with Medline and without Medline leaving the property un undeveloped undeveloped. The company would be required or will be required to sign, and this should also be in your packet of information, a tax incentives agreement that uh, requires them to, in essence, come through with what they've committed to do, the jobs, investment, and the wages. If they don't, then the city's adopted and standard clawback um, would come into, into play, requiring them to uh, give up that incentive. So that, uh, again, just to close, I recommend uh, you adopt the resolution and the plan. And again, in my view, this is a very good thing for the city. And I'm available for any questions that you may have. Thank you, sir. Mr. Shuck, give me the number of jobs again. The number of jobs, Mr. Mayor, is 138 new jobs. Additional? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions of council? Any public input or question concerning this matter? If not, uh, we'll take this up on Monday night. Thank you, folks. Appreciate that. Item B, then, is to authorize the Community and Development Services Director to advertise for bids to lease the old City Hall building at 8485 West Co Courthouse Square for use as a filming location for the period of December 1, 2015 through March 1, 2016 with each bid to include obligations to move and store city personal property for the duration of the lease. Mr. Lynn, do you have information on that item for us? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we uh, just wanted to get uh, council approval to place a bid or place an RFP out uh, to receive bids on using the old city hall building uh, for the months of December to March for as a film location only. Uh, you do remember we did speak with you guys uh, about uh, a, 30, a couple 30 day leases uh, for the current, excuse me, for the current Netflix show in that location, and now we just wanted to bring the bring it forward to get approval to all, advertise for bids uh, for that property for an extended period. Thank you, sir. Thank Any you. questions, Council? 
Any public input or question? If not, could we uh, place this on the uh, consent agenda for Monday night, please? Council's pleasure. Appears to be in order. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Yeah. Lynn, thank you. That's all that I have, Mr. Mayor. Very good. Thank you for that report. Councilman Adams, next item on the agenda is planning and development committee. I ask chair that committee, Mayor Pro Tem Pope, if you'll bring your committee forward this time, please, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor, we have three items. First being request for change in zoning from IL Light Industrial to IH Heavy Industrial on approximately 4.25 acres at 8965 Bright Star Road, Douglasville, Georgia, 30134, located in Landlot 190, District 2, Parcel Section 5, Parcel 91. Application by Mechadine Machining. Are they here? Come on up and tell us what you want to do. Thank you. Uh, my name's Thomas Borgell. Uh, I live at 3411 Wilderness Drive, Powder Springs, Georgia. Could you uh, give me that last name again? Borgell, B-O-R-G-E-L. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Porgio. And I am an owner of Mechadine Machine. Uh, we currently uh, work out of Cartersville, Georgia, and we're under contract with the building over on 8965 Bright Star Road to purchase it. Uh, we're looking at closing November 20th, uh, but it's all contingent upon getting it rezoned from industrial light to industrial heavy. And we're requesting that to happen. And uh, we're currently been in business for 33 years. Uh, we have 22 employees right now. Over the next five years, we'll probably be from 25 to 30 employees. Uh, we're probably going to be immediately adding five or six employees because we're going to lose five or six because of the driving distance. Uh, we manufacture machine parts and machinery for the uh, pulp and paper industry and packaging industry. Very good. Any questions from the council? So you're actually relocating your yes, business sir. to Douglasville. That is correct. And number of employees again? 22 right now. And you expect it to go to? 25 to 30 within five years. How big a building are you going to build over there? Uh, the building that we're currently in is uh, 50,000 uh, or 60,000 square feet. This building is uh, 40,000 square feet. Is it existing now? Yes, sir. Well, okay. What would you estimate ballpark your capital investment will be? Uh, I think we're at uh, the, with equipment and building, it's going to be right around 1.6 mil. Sir, would you be closing the, your location in Cartersville to move closer possibly to your clients, or will you also still have that location? No, we'll be closing that one. We, we presently lease. And I've uh, been trying to purchase for the last five years, and this building came up. Uh, it's a good deal, and it fits us perfect. There was a uh, manufacturing firm in it before, mm -hmm. so they basically did exactly what we do. Um, and a lot of our customers are over on this side. Uh, one of our biggest customers, Southwire, down in Carrollton. Uh, we do a lot of business with them. So then indirectly, you would be moving closer to your client? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Pope, my question would be, if there's no difference in the type of uh, business that they do, has there been a change in zoning requirements to go from what they are now to what the new requirement is on, on these folks to go to heavy industrial? What is the difference? I could answer that. Uh, sure. The NA, NACIS code or the SEC code, mm -hmm. uh, our code is because we actually manufacture a complete machine uh, plus machine parts. The people that were in it before just were under an SIC code of machine uh, manufacturer of parts. I see. So our SIC code in Douglasville requires us to be under heavy industrial. Well, thank you. Appreciate okay. that. Now, will you be relocating also? or where do Myself? You, or, yes. No, I, I live about 25 minutes away. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I'll be staying in Powder Springs. Okay. All right. So be a little closer in Cartersville. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> About half the distance. Okay. Very good. Okay. Any other questions from the council? Anybody want to speak for or against it in the audience? Okay. Uh, you come back on Monday and we'll vote on it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thank Next you item. Thank you. Glad to have you. Just a change in zoning from CG General Commercial to CG General Commercial with a special land use permit 
for automobile sales and services, new and used cars, on approximately 0 0.87 acres at 9130 Highway 5, Douglasville, Georgia, 30134, located in Landlot 162, District 2, Section 5, Parcel 16. And the application is made by Mark Collins. Is Mark Collins here? Come on up. Set your name and address for the record and just tell us what you want to do. Well, for the record, I want to expand my business from just... need to get your name and address for the record, please, sir, for the audio portion. God bless you. Thank you. My name is Mark Collins. I live at 91, I mean, not 91, sorry, um, 8614 Stone Creek Court, Douglasville, Georgia. Okay. Thank you. So I... Go ahead. I, I'm planning to expand my business. I'm now running an automotive shop there at the moment, auto repair shop, which is Collins Auto Tech. And I'm planning to expand the business by using a lot, a, that section of the building to do used car sales on there. Okay, so you're there now? I'm on the building right now. I'm doing the same um, auto mechanic. So the property is not getting, you're not building a bigger building? Or no, I'm not building a bigger building. I'm just using. The, the occupying the, re the rest of the building to do that, using the space on the building. Okay, any questions from the council? Um, Mr. Pope, this is presently a building that exists and you already occupy space in it, you're expanding into a larger portion of that building? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And this is located on Highway 5 uh, near the, or this is the old Bud's Bins location? Is yes, that sir. what we're talking about? Yes, sir. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Any other questions from the council? I do have one. Yes, sir. It's a uh, change in zoning, special land use permit for how long? One or two? One. We'll do it for one year if it's one. approved okay. right now. Okay. That's all I have. Anybody in the audience wish to speak for or against it? Being on, you come back on Monday and we'll vote on it. Thank you, sir. God bless Thank you. Thank you. Next item is quest. Request a change in zoning from CG General Commercial to CG General Commercial with a special land use permit to allow total square footage of all accessory structures to exceed 1,000 square feet on approximately 0 0.44 acres at 6487 East Spring Street, Douglasville, Georgia, 30134, located in Landlot 20, District 1, Section 5, Parcel 14. And the application is made by Barry Duke. Church Street Land Partnership and Hughes Ray Company. Oh, there he is. Hi, I'm Daryl Ray with Hughes Ray Company, 6554 East Church Street, Douglasville. And we're uh, representing the uh, Ace Hardware. I think you guys have seen, a, seen us here a couple of times talking about uh, what we want to do and how we want to keep this business uh, in downtown and uh, growing. And uh, we're going to, uh, you know, we've purchased that property next door to us and we want to expand and um, that's going to require us to have to have this special land use permit for the accessory building that we're going to be building on the uh, previously Armstrong property back there that we've that we've been talking with you guys about since this past spring. Does, does that building exist now? No. It's a new building. Okay. We're going to do a new building. That is correct. And, you know, we'll be coming in with a combination plat and a development plan also here uh, within the next few weeks also to keep that process moving so we can get it it under construction yeah we don't want you guys to leave um <laughs> any questions from the council oh i just want to ask mr uh, mr uh, ray if i could daryl there's nothing different that you are proposing now from what you had proposed in the spring as far as size of the building where it's to be located what had to be done as far as uh, easements and and right-of-ways and and uh setback changes correct everything is the same as it was it's just now this this little blip has come up as to the size of the building after the fact so to speak yeah that's exactly correct because it's not connected to any other building it's just you know a separate accessory building and i think because of the size that we want to do which we've been very upfront on what right. we want to do all along um, makes this have to be uh, applied for to, okay. to be able to do what we want to do there's not there's no way to connect the two buildings to begin with because of topographic change is that correct 
you wouldn't want to connect the two buildings? We basically at this point we're wanting those to be uh, separate. Got it. That's what I thought. Okay. No Any other yet? questions from me. I have a question. I thought we had addressed this, or I don't know if I need to address this to Mr. Lynn or who. When we looked at or Michelle. We didn't, we didn't grant them a special land use permit. Well, I know, but when we first started looking at this, did we not pick up on this, that we needed to do this, or what happened? Um, do you know? We addressed the Historic Preservation Commission where they went before them and had um, the facade approved in the downtown area. And then they uh, applied for a variance to have a tree removed um, in, in that area. However, uh, the special land use permit was not addressed for this building. At that time, well, the only thing I'm just wondering or thinking is, you know, I guess these folks have had to come forth. This is the third time now, and I think we've known all along what they wanted to do, and that's why I'm wondering, did we not catch this or what happened that now we're they're having to come back and go through the process all over again somewhat? Um, these are all separate agencies and uh, separate processes. That, I understand that. Yeah. I was just wondering why, you know, so that when somebody comes forward to apply for something like this, we make them aware of what they need to do, or was it not called, or what, or do we no, know? No, my understanding is that they were made aware from my planner. Okay. All right. Any other questions from the council? Anybody in the audience wish to speak for or against this? project being none you come back on Monday and we'll vote on it and that's all we have mr. mayor very good thank you mayor pro Tim Pope next item on the agenda is parks and recreation committee I chair that committee councilman Yaki do you have any business to bring forward at this time not him tonight mr. very good next item on the agenda is finance committee I'll ask chair that committee councilman Adams if you bring your committee forward at this time please sir Yes, sir. Thank you. We have uh, finance committee has one item that's to authorize the assistant city manager to advertise for bids to lease city owned property at 6625 Brown Street as a children's daycare center for a term of three years. Who's handling that, Ms. Hampton? Go ahead, Ms. Littlefield. I'll handle it for you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is uh, currently being leased to Riley's uh, early daycare center, and it's, uh, I think it was is or has been majestic daycare. Their lease has uh, run out and, and they are good until uh, December, uh, but uh, th that property needs to be offered for lease to them or to someone uh, for bids uh, before a new lease can be signed. Uh, we're proposing a three-year lease. Any questions from council or public comment? And as I understand it, this is a requirement of law that it we is. do this even though they are the, the present tenant. This is just the end of their lease. And, yes. want, and they do want to remain. I've been told that they will be bidding, yes. Gotcha, thank you. So okay. they could possibly lose if someone else bids. Well, that's a possibility. Any other comment? Is it possible that we place this uh, on the consent agenda for Monday? Council's pleasure. Appears to be in order. Thank you very much. That's all we have under finance, Mr. Mayor. Very good. Thank you for that report, Councilman Adams. Next item on the agenda is Information Technology Committee. I ask chair that committee, Councilman Yaki. Do you have any business to bring forward at this time? No items tonight. Very good. Next item on the agenda is Maintenance and Sanitation Committee. I ask chair that committee, Councilman Miller. Do you have any business to bring forward at this time, sir? No business tonight. Very good. Next item on the agenda is Transportation Committee. I ask chair that committee council person, uh, Danley, do you have any business to bring forward at this time? No business tonight, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Very good, thank you, council person Danley. Next item on the agenda is Personnel and Organization Committee. And in the absence of the chair and vice chair, I will ask council person Danley if she'll bring forward personnel and organization at this time, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. There's one item. Um, authorize the mayor to sign the master contract with the city's health benefits broker, Shaw Hawkins um, Incorporated, and Hankins Incorporated. And we have um, Ms. T, our human resource director. 
Thank you, Councilwoman. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and Council. The agenda item before you for consideration is the current broker agreement between our health uh, benefits broker, Shaw Hankins, and the city of Douglasville. Uh, Shaw Hankins has assisted us since 2013 um, with strategic uh, benefit planning, design, funding, administration, and communication with respect to our employee benefits program. Uh, the scope of their services uh, include medical, dental, basic life and voluntary life, accidental death and dismemberment, short-term and long-term disability, vision, and other employee benefits selected by the city. And HR staff recommends this item for consent agenda. I'd be happy to take any questions if you have any. Thank, thank you. Do we have any um, questions from our uh, mayor and council or from our audience? If not, I'd like to put this item on the consent agenda. Council's pleasure. Appears to be in order. Thank you. No other items under personnel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Very good. Thank you for that report, Councilperson Danley. Next item on the agenda is ordinances entered the governmental committee. And in the absence of the committee chair, Councilperson Davis, I'll ask uh, Councilman Adams, do you have anything to bring forward? No business tonight, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Very good. Thank you for that report. Next item on the agenda is Education Training Committee. And I'll ask chair of that committee, Councilperson Danley, do you have any business to bring forward? No items under transport, under education. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Very good. Thank you, Councilperson Danley. Next item on the agenda is announcements and presentations. Ms. Hampton, you aware of any at this time? No, sir. Very good. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is other business. Ms. Hampton, you aware of any other business? No, sir, not at this time. Very good. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is city attorney. Mr. Dotson, do you have any business to bring forward? No business. Very good, thank you, Mr. Dotson. Next item on the agenda is Chief Assistant City Attorney, Ms. Littlefield. Do you have any business to bring forward at this time? No business, Mr. Mayor. Very good, thank you, Mr. Littlefield. Next item, City Manager, Assistant City Manager acting right now. Uh, Ms. Hampton, do you have any business to bring forward at this point? I do. <laughs> On, um, Monday, on Monday night, you'll have a, a series of interviews. Um, as you know, through the last report that we made for the boards and commissions, you have several vacant positions as well as several um, current members who are serving with expired terms. So enable um, to allow us to make certain we get all of that straight, you'll have a series of Monday meetings where you have interviews. On Monday, you will be interviewing a candidate for uh, the, uh, who wish to be reappointed for the animal control at Advisory Board uh, for the Convention and Conference Center Authority, for the Downtown Development Authority, and for the City of Douglasville Development Authority. All of these are folks who wish to be reappointed, uh, so it uh, really shouldn't be that long. It would be you getting acquainted with those members and considering them uh, for reappointment on Monday the 19th at 5 o'clock. Um, also, please make certain your calendar has October 22nd. Um, at 5 p.m. That is the benefits meeting for you as elected officials. Um, it is here in the Douglasville Conference Center. Uh, Ms. Teal Alston will be here to answer any questions for you. Again, that's October 22nd, Thursday at 5 p.m. Um, the legislative delegation meeting has been set for October 28th at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. I'm still looking for topics from you. If you could please get those to me um, no later than Monday so we can start building the agenda. Um, and then also on um, tomorrow, you should have gotten an email today from the administrative staff. We have a uh, groundbreaking for Kihi over off of Riverside. The directions are included in the email. That's right at high noon uh, tomorrow on Friday. Um, please be out, be on the lookout every Friday for an email from you. I know we shout out a bunch of stuff, but I'll have this tomorrow in the email um, for you. It won't include the noon um, meeting, but it will include everything for your week ahead. And I'll try to send that out every Friday at 3 o'clock. So if you'll look from that email for me. And then with that, the only other thing I have, Jonathan Lynn wants to come up and talk about fall activities, the gravity games um, that will be coming up in uh, really next weekend. Thank you. Uh, I know it seems like a, a, every every meeting recently, I'm, I'm just kind of up talking about it, kind of getting getting the word out, making sure everyone knows about it. But next weekend, starting on Friday night, October 23rd, we will begin our fall activities. That will be the Hot Rods on Main event where the cars will be downtown. It's free. Everybody can come take a look at some of the cool cars that they have. It's um, it's always great, very family friendly. And then starting on Saturday morning, uh, Google's Gra or Georgia Gravity Games will take place. Uh, that'll wrap up about 2 o'clock. 
uh, then we'll, you know, go into the chili cook off and, uh, the moonlight run. And that's, you know, a fun weekend of activities. And if the weather's anything like it has been recently, it'll bring a lot of people out. I know, um, last year, I think they estimated, you know, a little over 2000 people in and about downtown. And I don't see any reason that it would be any less than that this year. So. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Lynn. Anything else, Ms. Hampton? No, sir. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is comments from citizens and delegates. Do we have any citizens like to come forward this time with comments? Okay, good evening. I am Vonda Thorpe. And I'm um, coming up to discuss. Need to get your address. I'm please, sorry, 8426 Timberlane Drive, Douglasville, Georgia, 30134. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. Just um, really coming back again because, as you know, our event, Music and Arts in the Plaza, for October 3rd was rained out. Um, so we're coming back to do basically the same thing, but we're coming back to you again um, with the same request. We've already put in the request for our street obstruction. We already have the. Um, Police department on board, we have assigned officers that are gonna work the event, and we still plan on doing the same things. Music and arts on the plaza from 10 to six. What's the date? October 31st. Halloween. Sorry? Halloween? Yes. Okay. What time? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. And you've communicated with staff to redirect, and reschedule, and all of that, right? Yes, we have. Okay, very good. Very I, have good. A, I have a question. Um, Mrs. Thorpe, um, I hate that it rain, but of course we can't control that. But were you able to retain your artists as well as your vendors? Just yes, we have. Oh, good. Okay, mm -hmm. great. In the police department, that's Halloween. They're going to be busy as one on paper hanger. They have, don't have any objection to it. We have them already. They've already contacted me. And, well, and I'm asking the deputy chief. Oh, I'm sorry. She can talk for herself. <laughs> okay. That's all I have. Anything else? Any other questions for Ms. Thorpe? Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Good right. luck to you. Thank you. Come out and join us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Any other citizens like to come forward at this time? Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. <laughs> Richard Siegel, 9905 Ashford Greenway, Douglasville, Georgia. Um, I'm about to break protocol that the mayor read earlier, uh, so you might want to get his gavel ready and the officer back there and over here might want to get their handcuffs ready, but I'm going to, uh, I want to recognize somebody who has for the last four years been a vital part of our community here in the city of Douglasville. Um, today's her last day on the job of bringing the information about these proceedings to the people of the city of Douglasville and Douglas County. Ms. Amanda Thomas has has been a vital part of this community, whether she realizes it or not. And I just want to thank her for all the work that she's done with the Douglas County Sentinel. And whoever replaces her has some big shoes to fill. And I just want to express my appreciation to her and the Sentinel for the work that they've done. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. I don't normally, but I will comment a little bit on that, Mr. Siegel, in that I don't know that you really broke protocol. And uh, I did wink back at the officer back there, and he was prepared with handcuffs. Uh, he didn't draw his weapon, but he looked to be well prepared. But uh, I didn't anticipate that you would do anything totally out of the ordinary. So, uh, But I do appreciate you coming forward and making those comments and uh, acknowledging Ms. Thomas for the job that she's done. Uh, in the community. So uh, we wish you well and wish you good luck and good fortune. 
So tonight is, is tonight your last meeting, last event. Uh, you going to clock it after tonight, or do you have other activities uh, tomorrow? So tonight's it. Well, I wish we'd have known that. We would have uh, maybe gotten a cake or something. But good luck to you. And, and we will miss you. Yeah. Okay, any other citizens like to come forward and uh, make comments? Okay, at this time I'll go to the next item on the agenda, and that is staff reports. Ms. Hampton, I, I don't, uh, do we have any staff reports? No, sir, we do not. Very good. Okay. Hearing none, no other business come before this body. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.